This is Back USA. This is our production facility. I am Don, and this is the Atlas. Now let's take a look at everything that comes in the box. You'll find the quick start guide, charger, stylus battery, a checklist of items included in the box, insert for how to add the stylus battery and tether, and the Atlas. We've seen everything that comes in the box. Now let's take a deeper look at some of the actual features on the Atlas. Here you'll find the rotatable camera, small light sensor, and the speakers. And here you'll find a convenient spot to store your stylus, Type-C charging port, micro SD slot, headphone jack, and USB-A port and a handle for easy carrying. We've gone through the device and its packaging. Now we can go through Setup of Windows 10 and take a look at some of the incredible features it has to offer. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn the device on. You can do that by finding the power button located in the upper left-hand corner here. Press and hold until you see Atlas on the screen. If you go over 10 seconds, that'll perform a hard reset, so three to four should do. Once the device starts up, you'll be presented with two options for going through setup. You can either use manual, touchscreen, and keyboard combination, or you can use Cortana, which will be voice activated and listen to your commands along the way. On this screen, you'll be able to select your region, and this will optimize the device to your location. On this screen, you'll be able to select your keyboard and then press yes in the lower right-hand corner. On the next screen, you'll be able to add a secondary keyboard if you'd like. If not, please feel free to press skip. At this stage, you'll be able to connect to a network if accessible. We recommend connecting so you can perform necessary updates if required. In order to continue using Windows 10, you'll need to read through the terms and conditions and press accept in the lower right-hand corner. At this stage in the setup, you'll be presented with two different options for account setup, depending on the licensing you've purchased. You'll wanna follow the instructions on screen to choose the one that best suits your needs. We were presented with Cortana in the very beginning of the setup. Now you'll be able to set her up for full-time use embedded into the operating system if you'd like. If you choose yes now, remember this can be disabled at any time. You can now select your privacy settings on this screen, choose whatever fits your needs best, and press accept in the lower right-hand corner. One thing to note is that these can be changed at any time. Windows will now complete setup, do a little bit of loading and finalizing, and you'll be ready to go. We've finished account setup and we can now jump right into seeing how the Atlas interacts with Windows 10 and getting it customized just for you. Here you can easily switch back and forth between tablet mode and desktop mode. Here you'll find your network settings. Type Bluetooth in the lower left hand search bar to pull up the Bluetooth settings page. Here you can connect and disconnect to any Bluetooth devices. If you're more familiar with a different browser, you can open Edge, search and download for whatever browser you're most familiar with. Here you'll be able to adjust power and sleep settings. If you'd like to personalize your background, you can right click on the desktop and click here. Thank you so much for watching. We're glad you joined us today to go through the Atlas and the unboxing. If there's any other questions you have, we encourage you to go to our website at bakusa.com or give us a call at 716-970-4110. Thank you and we'll see you back here.